You had mentioned three steps earlier. Oh, yes. Three steps to connect with your higher self. The first one is you do a practice period for 45 days where you ask unimportant, insignificant questions from your higher self. To whom? Your higher self. You ask, you first do a little meditation where you ask your higher self to show you a symbol or signal in your body. And what's very interesting is people get a visual, some people get colors, some people get, uh, you know, a tickle on their ear. Uh, one lady reported that she got an itchy ear and she, in the meditation, she was uh, asking her higher self, show me my sign or my signal for yes. And then her toes started to itch. And she keeps telling herself now, you know, body quiet down, calm That's down. Right. And finally her whole body started to itch. So then she said, okay, okay, I get it. I'll take the itchy ear for my yes signal. And that kind of thing happens in, in the environment when you first just quiet yourself and ask in meditation, I'd like my symbol or signal for yes, no, and neutral. And you do each one separately. So people get different kinds of symbols, but 90% of the people that I take this, take them through this, they get it. And then those other 10% I have a workaround for. So the first step is using that symbol for 45 days, asking unimportant, insignificant questions. Ha! Huh. Insignificant. I'd and like so, that. you know, you don't ask about, if you're a smoker, you don't ask about that next smoke. But if you, and if you like sweets, you don't act, ask about the cookie. Instead, you ask about things you're willing to do. So you ask, is it my highest best good to have eggs for breakfast? Is it my highest and best good to take this route over that route? And, and so you keep asking to get either a yes or a no. And then the second rule is you always follow through. And the third rule is for people who like to use pendulums or muscle testing or kinesiology, yeah. you set all that aside for six weeks. And the reason for that is the same reason why you wouldn't learn German and French. Why six weeks? Not, why not four? According not to, five? according to a, a well-known chiropractor, it takes six weeks to get new DNA. And I'm drawing a blank at his name, Danny Epstein. If we get new DNA in six weeks, that means that your body has regenerated and that that practice, whatever it is, is permanent. So just like in the day before cell phones, you might pick up the phone and, and know that it's your mom or uh, some well-known guest that you want to talk to. And you just know that intuitively. And so without looking at your phone, you could play with it that way. You know, is this my friend? And then look at the phone. Now, the six weeks of practice is all about play. That's why you ask about unimportant stuff so that you can see in hindsight how amazing the uh, higher self answers can be. So you might ask about a restaurant. Is it my highest best good to go to this restaurant? No. What about this restaurant? No. What about this restaurant? Yes. You show up and somebody that you've been wanting to talk to is there and you talk to them. Stuff like that starts to happen. That's fascinating. And that's when you realize, oh yeah, my higher self has got the goods, even when I don't know what that, what the goods are.